This vessel is by Nancy Chile, and uh, she gets help from her husband, Jackson Yazi. He is related to the, the Williams family, and he actually, through his family, through his lineage, he learned how to do pottery, and he taught Nancy, and she just took off. She bloomed. She does these very nice figurative pieces. Uh, in, the, in the old days, any kind of a vessel, this is way back when the Navajo didn't have uh, utilitarian pieces like uh, the, the, the more modern type of uh, ware, cookware or uh, storage, uh, storage pieces. So what they would do is they would decorate them with uh, their deities. So the deities would protect whatever was in the piece. So the, uh, that's where these evolve from. And Nancy does a gorgeous job. These are not turned on a wheel. These are all hand formed. So she'll go out, she'll dig the clay, she'll dry it, powder it, clean it, re-wet it, and then start forming these pieces. Uh, in, in her case here, the bottom part is formed in a, in a pot that she has that she's made before and she, this, that's her mold for the bottom. So she'll take that clay, flatten it out really, really well, push it into the bottom of that, that pot and then cut it and take that out and she has her start. And then uh, the upper part, she can actually take that same pottery piece and turn it over here and then cut it off and then start building up her top with a coil method of pottery making. So it, it's, it's really kind of a complicated process. A lot of, uh, a lot of time digging in clay, preparing it, and then really a lot more hand forming these things because they're, you know, she's not spinning them, she's not pulling them up on a wheel. And you can actually put your hand in there and feel these, feel the, the difference in the, the thickness and also the, when you, when you rub your hand up the inside, you can feel the difference in the way it was formed. You can, almost, you can feel the coils as they come up. So a lot of labor involved. And then the deities, what she does is she takes her stamp. She used to be a, a leather worker. And so she'll take those stamps, usually a, either a running stamp, which is a curved straight line, or just a straight line, and she'll take these and start pushing in the designs. And so this is all, each piece, there's no stencil, there's no paint, uh, you know, kind of a form to paint these on there. Every little bit, she's holding this pot and pushing these designs in by hand. So you can see there's an awful lot of time involved in this. Uh, then when she fires it, she fires it outdoors in a in a stacked oven, the old type of oven that they used to do. They build it with broken pot shards, cover it with uh, charcoal and wood and sometimes dung to make it hotter. And that's why when you turn the pot you can actually see the dark and the light from the different uh, intensities of heat when they fire this thing up. And then when it comes out of the the oven, the, the kiln that they've done, and she'll put pine, uh, pinion pitch all over it and that's you can see that that glaze is pinion pitch so uh, Nancy is one of those artists that just is not afraid to sit down and really put some effort into a piece and that's what you that, that's what you have here that's where uh, the whole idea of it is just a lot of work